Hey everyone, it's Lulu. Welcome back to my channel. Lipstick. I think I have a, well, I love makeup. I love everything. I just do it because I want to do it and I do it because I can do it. And I'm not decluttering because everything I'm taking out I have bought <laughs> in. It, I'm going to, at the end of this video, I will link my 2017 beauty resolutions. And one of them is, if a lipstick comes in, a lipstick must come out. I am, so what I'm doing, and I can't remember if I explained this, I'm doing this backwards. I started the project, then thought I should record it. Ugh. Anyway, I take everything that is lip related, <laughs> not the pencils, I'm not a pencil person, but and I try to put them all in a basket and it's kind of overflowing. So you'll see me and the basket and from there <clears throat> I really had to think how am I going to do this by brand, by color, by how old I think it is. Um, it was tough. I mean we know we're talking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of lipsticks, lip glosses, liquid lips. So I hope you enjoy this nightmare and you know I have always admitted I, I have lots and lots of makeup. I can compete with the best of them when it comes to collections. So, here we go. Enjoy. I don't know what the edit at the end what the editing will actually look like, but that's not the point of this. Bye. Stuff on the chopping block is L'Oreal. What do you think, Bankies? What do you think? Say hi. Say hi. Look happy. <laughs> Next up is L'Oreal. And then after L'Oreal, I think I'll do Revlon. So we shall see how this goes. And um, bear with me. So I'm one of the few people, I think, that like the scent of L'Oreal. There's a lot of scents I don't like. Milani, that original, original group that came out that everybody thought was like Jolly Rancher Watermelon. I loved that formula. I loved the colors, the brightness. Every time I tried wearing one, I just, I couldn't, I could not get past the smell. Would have to take it off. So here we go. I don't have the names necessarily, and probably a lot of them are not even around anymore. But here's the first L'Oreal, Everbloom. So, that's a keeper. It's on the peachy side. Okay, I'll keep that one. And this one is 640 in Wild Plum. Ooh, it's a very, I would say it's a warm, can plums be warm? It's not very deep. Looks more purple-ish on camera. That one's a keeper. That one's a pretty, pretty color. Okay, next up is, hmm is Miss Magenta. This does not look magenta to me at all, like not even close. It's just a nice warm pink, the bottom one. Does that look magenta? Again, I think the color isn't true, which is why I'm not fond of doing swatches on my channel because I'm sitting in front of natural light uh, not too bright, not too dim, and I'm washed out, and I don't think you're getting the true colors. But the thing is, just to kind of play along with me. Ah, this is Blazing Lava. And this is not going to stay because it has too much, it has too much, oh, it's much deeper than you're seeing. It has, 
it's too orangey bricky. So this one's going to go bye bye. This is a newish one, 703 Eva's Pink. I don't know who Eva is. I don't watch movies. I don't read People Magazine. But apparently, I liked her pink. And it is. It's a very pretty. It's a melony pink. So, but not as warm as the one I'm getting rid of. I don't know if you can see the difference in the warmth. Actually, oh, maybe there you can. But this is pretty. Okay, so this one's staying. When I'm not on camera, I'm doing it really fast. I'm kind of like, open look, open look, open look. This is a, oh my, this is just one of those, everything's going to be pretty because pink flamingo. I put it too high. Let me, let me do it over here with my Banks scratches. Pink flamingo. Gorgeous. So how are all of you doing, huh? These two, I remember, oh no, now I don't remember. I thought they were the ones, one of their long wearing ones. This is 173. When I tell you they're identical, they don't look identical on camera. In person they do. No, no they don't. They're different, but different enough to, I don't remember what was the deal. Was this just a new packaging, kind of in between packaging? Hmm. Well, I have two of these, and here's the other one, which is, I have a feeling, going to go, because it's a really bubblegum, bright, bright pink. I think I'm going to skip the swatches in the camera, because that's ridiculous. So this one's going to go. All right, and now the rest of these are this formula, which I love. This is their newest, I think. Is this their newest? Okay. So this is pretty. This is a deeper pink, a deeper magenta, like that. Ooh, this is a nice color, too. This is 429 Charismatic Coral. <gasps> oh, gorgeous. It's this one. They're coming up again, just not, there we go. Not at all like they are in life. And didn't I just say I'm not going to do this? So. I hope you're going to have a good weekend. I have a, oh, this is very orangey. Hmm. What was I thinking? Coral something. Seduction? That's, holy cow. Downright orange. It's going bye-bye. Um, <clears throat> orange, orange. Needs to go to Cuba or something. I have a wedding tomorrow. My very, very, very best friend. Lifelong, you know, lifelong. Little school grammar school, high school, and her youngest daughter is getting married tomorrow, and uh, it's the first time I'm going to an event without Vito. It's, it's hard. I mean, I Christmas he wasn't able to go. Valentine's Day he couldn't get out, but he had my youngest son do everything, but you know, there was no... Okay. My birthday, <clears throat> during my birthday time, he was extremely sick, so that's fine. Mother's Day, he wasn't able to go to brunch with us. Again, none of this has really bothered me, saddened me, but the thought of going to a wedding reception without him is, I'm like over the edge, like over the edge. So... <laughs> That's tomorrow. He, anyway, there's like a whole new update video, but this is yet another pink. This one is also very bright pink. I'm going to say no to this one. And uh, I bought the dress ages ago, and I have plenty of dresses to choose from. That's kind of warm, but not too warm. I have plenty of dresses you know, to choose from, but I bought a new one ages, months, 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 last fall actually. And I love that dress, and it's black. I always wear black. I almost always wear black to wedding receptions. It's it's what you do, right? I mean, no. I mean, I don't know. Whatever. It's what I do. I don't want to wear black. And I'm just having the hardest time. I'm thinking... Don't be silly. 
but it's just crazy. Anyway, so those are my L'Oreal's, and I think there were three or four, four that I'm not keeping. So normally I go through this a lot faster when I'm just sitting on the bed and doing this, but you know, wanted to chit chat and have you see my face and not just all down shots. So uh, take care and back to the cleaning up. Bye. This <clears throat> this is progress. Now we've got them clumped by brand. Uh, MAC, Maybelline, uh, Dior, Clinique, Milani, Wet n Wild, NYX, oops, this NYX needs, no, is this NYC? Oh shoot. Alright, I need to separate those. Revlon, Laura Geller, haven't gotten to that yet. Um, what the heck is this? Cover? Oh, Sephora doesn't belong in there. Josie Mira doesn't belong in there. Oh, geez. Okay, Cover Girl, Elle May. These are singles, it appears. Rimmel, Estee Lauder, L'Oreal, Bobbi Brown, Urban Decay, YSL, Tarte, Too Fit, no. Too Faced, Lancome, 